Hey there, hi there, ho there, my name is Thomas and welcome to the Second Star Channel, the only channel on YouTube that combines the wonders of Disney with the artistic styles of jazz music. Before we get to the topic of the video, I just want to remind you of the channel's new schedule for posting videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be alerted whenever I post a video. Now, back to the subject of the video. With the recent closing of Paradise Pier to be rethemed to Pixar Pier, I thought that I would explain the different changes to Disney California Adventure's Boardwalk and Pier since its opening in 2001. Without further ado, here we go. When Disney California Adventure first opened in 2001, Paradise Pier originally resembled a modern seaside amusement park, like the Santa Monica Pier. Not only was the entrance to DCA a replica of the Golden Gate Bridge found in San Francisco, the rest of the park was in celebration of California's unique history and landscape. However, as part of Disney California Adventure's $1.1 billion expansion project that started in 2008, Paradise Pier was rethemed to evoke the charm of Victorian-era seaside amusement park. The first change was the addition of Toy Story Midway Mania, which opened in June 17, 2008. The boardwalk games were then rethemed to incorporate more familiar Disney characters, and was completed April 7, 2009. The Sun Wheel was transformed into Mickey's Fun Wheel, with a new color scheme, new lighting effects, and a pie-eyed Mickey Mouse face replacing the original sun face. This was all completed May 4, 2009. Now following these changes, the Route 66 area was completely rethemed, with the SS Rustworthy and Dinosaur Jack's Sunglass Shack being completely demolished. The Orange Stinger, which looked like a giant orange, underwent drastic retheming to eventually become Silly Symphony Swings, based on Walt Disney's short film, The Band Concert. Silly Symphony Swings opened on May 28, 2010. A few changes had also been made to California Screamin'. The Mickey Mouse silhouette was altered to a sunburst pattern reminiscent of what the Ferris wheel used to be, with a large Paradise Pier sign that once sat below, now hanging above the loop. Now, Paradise Pier didn't just change physically, there was also the addition of World of Color, a nighttime spectacular featuring fountains and projection effects for Paradise Bay. An area on the northern waterfront was repurposed into a viewing area for the show, and is now known as Paradise Park. World of Color premiered on June 11, 2010, and plays nightly. There have been many different versions of the show for the different seasons. There's been a retheming for Christmas with Olaf as the narrator, Halloween, and even Grad Night. The Little Mermaid Ariel's undersea adventure replaced Golden Dreams and was opened June 3, 2011. In November 2010, Mulholland Madness was closed and reopened July 1, 2011 as Goofy Sky School, inspired by Walt Disney's 1940 short film Goofy's Glider. On the other side of Paradise Bay, Malibuomer was removed and replaced with a park. Now this summer, Paradise Pier will face another drastic retheming and will become Pixar Pier, inspired by films from Pixar Animation Studios. California Screamin' will have a permanent overlay theme to the Pixar film The Incredibles, and it will become The Incredicoaster. Not much is known right now about what these changes will be. But we know that the queue area will be rethemed to match the architectural style of the Parr family home from the movie, and that we will be seeing each member of the family throughout the ride. The most impressive one, in my opinion, is Elastic Girl being stretched throughout the first tunnel drop of the ride. Now there are plenty of other attractions that will also be getting a Pixar retheming, everything from the pier to Toy Story Midway Mania. For example, King Triton's carousel will be wrapped in a tent with a giant Jesse statue looking in. Now, side note, Disney, why didn't you just keep the underwater theming and put Nemo or Dory on the carousel? Feels like a missed opportunity to me. Right next to Toy Story Midway Mania will be a brand new attraction themed to Pixar's Inside Out. The attraction from the concept art is reminiscent of Flick's Flyers in A Bug's Land. Now, the point of this video is to remind all of you lost folks that change is part of Disney, even if we're not 100% on board with the changes. 
Paradise Pier may be changing, but the rides are essentially staying the same. After all, it was Walt Disney who famously said that as long as there is imagination left in this world, Disneyland will never be complete. And, by extension, neither will Disney California Adventure. My only issue with these changes is the lack of representation for Finding Nemo and Wall-E, two of Pixar's best movies. However, I'm hopeful that they will get their chance in the spotlight soon. Only time will tell. And there you have it, Lost Folks. Hopefully you learned a thing or two about the different forms of DCA Boardwalk and the Pier in the past 17 years. Now my community question for this video is what are your thoughts on Pixar Pier? Is there a Pixar film or character that you wish had more representation in DCA? Let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, and subscribe if you haven't already. Second Star is now on a Sunday-Wednesday schedule, so hit that notification bell. And as always, my name is Thomas, make sure to keep those happy little thoughts, and I will see you in the next video.